Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laugh it up. Nah, nah, I'm emo. Leave me alone. Jimmy, last year you came out with the braids, man. What's what's this? I had dreads like, last year. Uh, yeah, yeah, the dreads. Time. What's this? Yeah. This is uh, my emotional state. I'm one with my emotions, so this is what you get. It's a new year, new season. We came up short. Uh, I didn't do my job. We didn't do our job as a whole last year. But it's a it's a new season. I'm excited for it. Um, and, you know, we'll see y'all in the finals in June. Hey, Jimmy. I hope you had a good summer. Um, also, just I think there's a growing discontent among fans, especially after falling short on a couple of potential additions to the roster. And somehow, I think the overwhelming feeling is that they're wasting your prime. Do you feel like the team has done enough to build a team that's a championship contender around you? Yeah, we straight. Um, like I always say, I know what I'm capable of. Uh, I know what my guys are capable of. So we'll continue to play basketball as a, as a unit, as a team. And somehow, some way, end up in the finals. This time we're going to win it. And then y'all going to say they got lucky. So I'm prepared for it. Spo was just in here saying that basically that he believes that the team uh, has what it takes to get back to the finals, sort of related to the question you just were asked. But, like, what is it about this team knowing that, you know, even before you get into training camp, that could be different maybe even than last year's team? I mean, we got a, a couple – new guys, faces that everybody's seen around the league. Um, and guys are just work incredibly hard. They're going to buy into doing whatever it takes for the unit, for the team to win. And um, oddly enough, we got a bunch of players that think or maybe even know that they're the best player in the league. Um, and I think you need that. You need that confidence night in and night out. And when you have multiple guys that think that, that believe that, you just end up winning games. Um, the togetherness is there. Everybody knows where they stand. And uh, that's the that's what we've taken into this year. You know, I don't think we have a chip on our shoulder. I don't think that's it. I just think we know who we are. We're confident with who we are as a team, as individuals. And that's the thing that we're going to use to help us win. Jimmy, for you at this point, is it just about a championship? Yeah, it's always been about a championship for me. I mean, it will always be about that. Nothing else. Um, and this is our year. This is the one. And this one's going to feel real good, by the way. This one is going to hurt. Jim, you concerned the leap the team took offensively going you know, throughout the playoff run. What, what do you think about that run on the offensive side? Can you guys sort of capture and sustain going into this year? Uh, put the ball in the basket, make more threes, um, do what the analytics say, because um, that's what everybody does anyways, and um, just win. I think we were good offensively, but I also think we were, we were solid on the defensive side as well. Um, but like I said, last year was last year. This is a brand new season. You know, we got healthy players. We got new guys. Um, so, as much as we want to keep it the same, it's going it's going to look a little bit different. Jimmy, speaking of those new guys, uh, Jaime's come in. Obviously, talked a lot about his game being inspired by yours and kind of pick up on a lot of different things. I guess just what has been your initial impressions of him? Uh, I mean, I was around him for a commercial shoot, so we was talking a lot about. BS off the basketball floor. Um, I'm excited to see, you know, what he does on the floor because I hear that he does so many things well. I've watched a little bit of him while in college. Um, but I just want to see him get out there and have fun and compete because you have no choice but to do that here anyways. Um, but I think he can help. I know he's going to help. But um, he's just going to have to stay ready. 
knowing, just like myself back in the day, put your phone on mute, I'm watching you, um, that uh, his time's going to come. So he, he just, he just got to be ready to go. Thank you. Jimmy, I want to ask you about your travels. You were <laughs> said the same thing last year. Um, I want to ask you about your travels. You uh, were in China for the release of your shoe, and you felt a lot of love there. Can you talk about your interactions with the fans over there, how they showed you love? And I also want to ask you about your relationship with Dermot Kennedy. I recently visited Ireland where they love you a lot because of your relationship with him. You met up with him over the summer as well. Can mm -hmm. you talk about that? Uh, China was great. Uh, I got to sing like a lot of karaoke, which means the world to me because um, I don't get to do that often here. Uh, but the shoe release was great. Being able to like see all the fans and all the gifts that they've given me and my daughter, which is incredible because I think the world knows how much I love my child. Um, but it was, it was, it was kind of like surreal because coming from a small town, I mean, hell, not only am I an NBA player, but to go over there and everybody know who I am and support me and buy my sneaker and have my jersey from um, the Chicago days, skip a team, the Philly days, and then now here. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of love. And then as far as Dermot goes, that's, um, that's my brother through and through. I love to go and support all my friends in all you know aspects of life. So I got to see him do like, three songs while in London. Um, and I'm glad that Ireland has so much love for me, so I'm going to go over there and uh, drink some, some whiskey. Sorry. I didn't know you were up. I'm sorry. I truly forgot the answer to this. I think, I think you got asked last year, just given how next summer is in Olympics, you've obviously played it before. Would you ever do that again? Who knows? Wanna try to boast at what I look like? Play. Put them guns out of where I pull up my brains. No, Jimmy with the heat, I'm on fire. It's NBA on the ESPN time.